Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Meninel Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It really is appreciated. Um, thank you to everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. Thank you for your wonderful comments. Um, I'm still running a, a special at, um, for Scorpio season. You can have a 12 month reading for $100 or you can have five questions for $50 answered. Uh, just shoot us through an email, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, Scorpio, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. All right, Scorpio, currently I have a wealthy man or a wealthy woman, okay? Um, and we also have the main male, but we can flip it to be the main woman. Uh, if it resonates with you, just vice versa, the reading, okay? Um, all right. We have a person uh, here that's in a relationship, okay? And this person, the, the person they're connected to sort of has an expectation from them, okay? Um, I do feel that they're worried. They're worried. They have a concern here. They have a concern they have a concern about the opinion of others or the opinion of the family um, regarding this connection. All right, so I have a person here that that is pretty much in a connection that um, I don't know. It's it's kind of like they they're wearing a false mask in this connection. Um, I feel like that this person. I'm not getting any love cards when it comes to this person and the connection that they're in. Um, I feel like that connection is very controlling. Uh, they're worried about the connection. They're worried about um, whether to continue or not continue. Somebody wants to put something to an end. Okay. I have a, um, a wealthy man who is the main male in your life or you need to vice versa this. Okay. Because I also have a main female here and I have a privileged lady. And this privileged lady has an expectation of how she wants to live her life. Okay. She doesn't like to show that she has a lack of anything. All right. So I do feel that this person thinks about you a lot, Scorpio. You're very much in their thoughts. Um, they are in a mental self-imposed prison. I do feel underneath you as, as the main female, even though that there's another person, I feel like you're the main female. Somebody wants to make things official with you. But in order to make things official with you, Scorpio, I feel like that they, they're they trying to accumulate some sort of wealth here with a great fortune, with, um, you know, working very hard in their job and trying to accumulate some sort of money so they can live a, a certain lifestyle with you, okay? Um, wherever they are right now, Scorpio, they're in a very controlling environment and they don't know whether they can do it anymore. That environment is becoming very toxic um, I feel like that they always stepping out of the house just to not to be around this person anymore. Um, I feel like that if you're in this current situation, this person is bringing you a gift, okay? Probably for your birthday or around your birthday or could be for Christmas, right? But then on the other hand, what I want to say, Scorpio, is you are gifted to this person by the universe, okay? Um, the universe is saying to this person, get out before we destroy it for you. We've given you this gift, accept the gift. Otherwise, the gift is going to be taken away. And you are the gift, Scorpio. Okay. All right. So I feel like that um, there is a conversation that's going to come in. Could be through text message, online, face to face, whichever way. Um, and... I feel like this person is going to start to 
talk to you about what is really going on in their life okay this person might be traveling or you might be traveling right but the communication is coming in to you as the lovers here scorpio and i do feel that some journey that's going to take place okay and you and this person also have a journey scorpio but some journey that's going to take place is going to cause somebody to really think about the connection um, that they're currently in okay um i do feel that they are very much attached to their home environment as in the comfort that they received out of the home but they don't see receive the love in that home okay so this situation is becoming toxic i do feel they want a, a change scorpio they want to connect with you here we have the courtship, we have the lovers, we have the change that is coming in. We also have somebody who is going to come into some sort of sudden wealth, okay? So I have a mature man here. Um, and what this mature man doesn't see coming, it could be a woman, okay, is the courthouse. There's there's a separation, there's a, a divorce that, it, that is, is coming because this person is feeling sick, okay, um, in this marriage. They are definitely feeling sick within this marriage, all right? Um, okay, they might be in the marriage because of children or because of the child or because of what the family would say, what would the family say, okay? Um, but there's definitely communication coming in towards you regarding a mature woman, okay? This person is also um, grieving the loss of somebody or there is, there is grief that is coming towards this person because of the loss of somebody. I do feel the connection between you and this person um, goes back a long way, maybe for some of you, um, but there's definitely something that is coming to an end. There is a false person. Uh, there is a karmic connection here. Um, there is a true soulmate connection here. Uh, the karmic connection is, is trying to control the situation, somebody is in despair, somebody is feeling lost, they may turn to you, Scorpio, um, at the end of the day. Um, this person sees you as their lover, their best friend, somebody that they can communicate with, okay? Um, there is a cycle that is definitely coming to an end here. Um, and I also feel that somebody's trying to find their strength and courage to come out of the situation. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, they're in this situation because of their pride and ego, but that's going to shift with the changes and the journey that is coming in. Um, I also feel that, um, yeah, look, for a while they may have been confused about you, Scorpio, okay, because they weren't sure what was the purpose of you being in their life, okay? Um, so they're trying to um, not only lift their spirituality and their intuition using that as well, but they're, they're looking back on um, certain things that have happened between you and them, okay? They may be connected to somebody who's fair-haired, um, someone who's going to take off their, their mask, or this could be your person who is fair. Um, they're going to take off the, the mask because there's a hole in their soul. They, they are so hurt um, in this connection and they are trying to find the strength and courage to come towards you, Scorpio. So patience is going to be required. I do feel that the difference between you and who they're connected to is huge. It's a huge difference. Okay, one's fair, one's dark, one's dark haired, one's light haired, one's blue eyed, one's dark eyed. It, it's the opposite of everything. Okay, so with you, there is a very strong sexual pull towards you. They can't understand why they are being pulled towards you, why you have come into their life. Well, whenever Scorpio enters anybody's life, it, it Scorpio enters to create a change okay you can either be the catalyst or you were the soul you are the soulmate to this person and they're connected to a karmic person okay so um someone's procrastinating 
um, somebody is like knowing that they have to heal, they have to find their strength, okay? Um, this person is now going to tell you what they really mean because they've been, you know, not feeding you lies but masking the truth, okay? And I feel like now they want to come in and tell you exactly what they want to say, okay? They're in a, a self-imposed prison with the entrapment card here, okay? So they are in a self-imposed prison with this person and they just don't know how to um, escape it, okay? Somebody's playing the victim and they know that when they leave this situation, a lot of people are going to be coming after them, okay? A lot of people are going to try and change their mind. A lot of people are going to say to this person, what are you doing, you know? But this is why they, um, yeah, especially the family, the tribe, of whoever they're connected to okay so, um this person has been hiding a lot of truth from people so when they get up and, and leave this situation people are just shocked because they portray to have the perfect lifestyle they portray to have um you know the the perfect life okay but you are this person's temptation scorpio okay so there is a lot of sadness around this person. Um, but I think you've been getting a lot of signs or they've been getting a lot of signs. Let's say, say it's them, you know, through their dreams and, and um, things like, you know, songs or stuff that it's making them, you know, think. So you are the soulmate to this person, Scorpio. You feel like home to this person, okay? They feel like that they sold you out. They sold you out, okay? But um, love is here. Love is here. Um, you make this person feel young and alive, or they make you feel young and alive, but they're, they're letting go of something, okay? They're asking for help from above. They're practicing self-love, okay? The beauty, they love, they love you inside out, Scorpio. You know, they love you know, the way you think, the way you're nurturing, the way that you um, are there for people. They just love that about you, okay? Um, but uh, uh, for you, Scorpio, you have this fear because they may have rejected you in the past before because they were living this life of being wild and free and doing whatever and taking on lovers and taking on a lot of people that when they landed with a karmic, the karmic gave the illusion of being the soulmate, but the true soulmate connection was you, Scorpio, because I felt like they came back, they left, they came back, they left. I don't know, but I'm just feeling that for some of you, not everybody. But you need to have faith, Scorpio, that everything is going to work out in your favor. The universe has got your back, okay? So I feel like this person is very creative or you're very creative. They may be... Uh, in the entertainment business or you might be in the entertainment business but you know or they could be on social media but they're known okay they're very creative they like to unleash their creative side okay um, but they know that they sabotaged the connection between you and them okay so somebody needs to get out of this victim mentality okay because Scorpio, you're coming in as the phoenix rising here, okay? You're teaching this person something. You've, you've shown them something. you taught them something, okay? Pay attention to your dreams or they're paying attention to their dreams, okay? Um, because, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks is what I'm getting. You cannot teach an old dog new tricks. And I feel like that with this karmic... They have tried to change this person, but it turns out they're the ones that are changing and they don't like what they're becoming. The karmic cannot be changed. It cannot be changed, okay? Because they live in this in this certain lifestyle. They're determined to leave this, you know, that everybody needs to know that they're happy and successful and they have everything that they need and look at me look at me look at me look what i've done okay posting all over social media false information there is no happiness this person is not happy but they turn up 
All they're doing is turning up to keep the peace, okay? So once they stop turning up, that's when they, they're going to have the realisation that they're not happy. They're already feeling it. One foot in, one foot out, okay? Um, they are worried about a mature woman and somebody's health, or it could be their health that they're worried about, okay? Because it's actually the marriage that is causing this health, okay? Um, because when they're with you, Scorpio, they don't seem to have an issue. But when they're around this person that they're married to, they have an issue, okay? Somebody's going to start to send, you know, um, set barriers between them and, and, their, and their current partner. So they're finding ways around obstacles just so they can be happy. So that's what I mean by, you know, they're not in the relationship, they, but they are turning up because they are still married to this person. Okay, so love is in the air, Cupid is around, they love you, they love you so much. Yes, Scorpio, trust your intuition, okay? It doesn't lie, your intuition doesn't lie. You and this person are soulmates, 11-11, okay? Um, it's an important number for twin flames and symbolizing harmony and balance, so, you know, um, in a soulmate. So this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate and they're going to work hard, okay, to get out of this relationship, to be in you, to be in you. They could be wanting to be in you, <laughs> to be with you, okay. So, yeah, this person is, is becoming enlightened. There's a lot of synchronicity that goes on between you and this person, okay, um, somebody is really searching their emotions, trying to keep it intact and trying not to show the world that there's something wrong, okay? Um, the universe has got your back, Scorpio. You know, they're guiding you towards that special someone and they're guiding this person towards you, okay? Um, love can, can conquer everything. So I feel like with this person... They are in the connection, even though there's no love between them, the two people. They're in this connection because of, um, it's, it's transactional. I'm going to say it's transactional, okay? There's a home, there's a family, there's finances, but there is no love, okay? The love is with you and they are going to be willing to give up all that to be with you, okay? And together you can conquer anything, all right? The connection is very intense between you and this person, but they're living a lie. The illusion that they put on social media. What did I tell you? There's an illusion, okay? Um, so I feel like that they have a lot of respect for you, Scorpio, now. And I do feel that you and this person um, are all very, very connected. Your soul is preparing um, to re-establish trust in the process, okay? So manifest and tell the universe what you want with the tree card here. Somebody's taking a spiritual path. You could be spiritual, Scorpio. This other person could be spiritual, but there's a commitment coming in for you, Scorpio. Um, and, you know, it's important for this person. You and this person connect tele telepathy, like you read each other's minds, okay? Yeah, someone's letting go. Um, they see the value in you. They have past life connections. Trust, trust that this person is going through some challenges, but then there will be a union between you and this person, okay? Um, so trust the process, Scorpio, okay? Just be patient. You need to trust in the relationship for it to to thrive. So I feel like there, there are times where you don't trust this Scorpio, where you don't trust this person. You feel like there's other connections around them. You feel like that they're meeting up with other people, even though they're married, it doesn't matter. The love is with you. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you if this person is meeting up with anybody else, it's only because um, that they,
can't be at home with this person all day. They've got to find something to do. They've got to get out. They've got to find a reason. Okay, with you, they can sit and spend hours with you and you can go places and really enjoy yourselves. But, you know, where they are currently, Scorpio, is, is, is really affecting their health. Okay, but there's a big wake-up call coming. Okay, and this person is going to start speaking their truth. Okay, um, you may have given them reason to speak their truth, Scorpio. Okay, they may have asked you something and you you came out with the perfect answer. Okay, so yeah, life is all about a journey. As humans, yes, we suffer the consequences of endings and you know, a heartache and things like that. But once you understand the journey, you know, you're basically saying, okay, I release my ex and I accept the next. So this person is about to release this person that they're connected to, okay? And they are going to come towards you. Just trust the process, okay? Trust your intuition more than anything okay because the connection it's real it's real there's no perfection in in every relationship but this comes close it comes close it's divinely guided you know god bless you scorpio you you do deserve some sort of happiness in your life okay and i wish you guys all the best and we'll see you next time all right bye for now